Russian channels began to sound the alarm about the Kursk region. The resource VDV for Honesty and Justice, associated with the Russian armed forces, wrote about the advancement of the Ukrainian armed forces and the encirclement of Russian forces. Bad news is coming from the Kursk front. The enemy continues to expand its zone of control in the Kursk region. Some of our units have been surrounded, wrote Z Channel. Already in the morning, he clarified that Russian troops had to retreat a little on this section of the front. It is currently unknown where exactly the Ukrainian armed forces have advanced in the Kursk region. According to the latest data, the defense forces control about 1.3 thousand square kilometers of Russian territory. The Russian armed forces are having big problems in the Glushkovsky district on the northern flank. There, an area of approximately 700 square kilometers has been operationally encircled after the Ukrainians destroyed the bridges across the Seam River. Despite this, the military command of the Russian armed forces is not giving the order to withdraw forces from the fire pocket. After three weeks of fighting, Russia is still struggling to dislodge Ukrainian forces from the Kursk region, a surprisingly slow and low-key response to the first occupation of its territory since World War II. It all comes down to Russian manpower and Russian priorities. With the bulk of its military pressing offensives inside Ukraine, the Kremlin appears to lack enough reserves for now to drive out Kyiv's forces. President Vladimir Putin doesn't seem to view the attack, or at least give the impression that he views it as a grave enough threat to warrant pulling troops from eastern Ukraine's Donbas region, his priority target. Putin's focus is on the collapse of the Ukrainian state which he believes will automatically render any territorial control irrelevant, wrote Tatiana Stanovaya, senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center. Russia is very keen on continuing the attacks toward Pokrovsk and not taking resources away from Pokrovsk to Kursk, said Nico Lang, senior fellow at the Washington-based Center for European Policy Analysis. Unlike Pokrovsk, where Ukrainian forces have built extensive fortifications, other parts of Donetsk still under Ukrainian control are less protected and could be significantly more vulnerable to the Russian onslaught if Pokrovsk falls. President Volodymyr Zelensky personally arrived at the German airbase Ramstein where the 24th meeting of the contact group on the provision of military assistance to Ukraine, which includes more than 50 countries, is taking place. It was the first time that Zelensky joined the gathering of defense ministers at the US airbase Ramstein in western Germany. In his opening remarks, the Ukrainian leader spoke about the successes of the operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, where the Ukrainian armed forces took control of 1,300 square kilometers of territory and the Russian army lost about 6,000 people killed and wounded. According to the president, this prevented the occupiers from advancing on the Sumy region and slowed down their advance in Donetsk. He noted that the operation in Kursk showed the true interests of Putin, who justified the invasion of Ukraine by protecting his people, but was unable or unwilling to do so on Russian territory. Zelensky said that Russian troops abandoned a significant portion of the territory upon seeing the approach of Ukrainian forces, while other areas were taken under control by Ukrainian forces during combat. And we have already started operating F-16s. Thank you for this support, Secretary Austin. And to you, partners. They strike down missiles and drones. They are very efficient, but they are few. You know that. We need a much stronger fleet of F-16s and I have proposals that I will say when the press leaves, he said. Zelensky also called on partners to hand over the promised air defense systems as soon as possible and to change their minds about long-range missile strikes deep into Russia against its airfields and military bases. Head of the Pentagon, Lloyd Austin, announced at the beginning of the 24th meeting of the Ramstein Group on support for Ukraine that the United States will provide Ukraine with another package of military aid worth $250 million to continue countering Russian aggression. The head of the American Defense Department did not say what types of weapons would be transferred. He only said that the next batch would meet the urgent needs of the Ukrainian armed forces and would be delivered to the battlefield as soon as possible. 
The Ramstein meeting is taking place just as Russia is yet again ramping up aerial strikes against Ukrainian cities, underscoring Ukraine's need for faster air defense deliveries. Moscow's troops also continue their pressure in Donetsk Oblast, namely toward a key logistics hub of Pokrovsk. 